Welcome to our homestead. Recently, we replaced our central heat pump air conditioning and heating unit with mini splits all around the house. We've already done a video on their performance in the extreme cold, but now today it's going to be 105 degrees. So we're gonna talk about their performance in the extreme heat. Let's get going. Current temps for us near Tyler, Texas are 102 degrees and it is around 1130 in the morning. And just like I did on the video of the cold performance on this unit, I'm going to take a temperature on the heat exchanger fan and see much how much heat it's removing from the house. That air is pretty hot. It's 106 and a half degrees. Now let's go inside the house. I'm going to show you the temperature settings of all the head units. I'm going to talk about the insulation in my house, which is a big factor playing into all of this. And then we're also going to show you the energy consumption on all of the units. So it gives you an idea of what your loads are going to be in heat like this if you have a solar system like we do. We're here inside with the head unit for our main space. Now, admittedly, this unit is a slight bit too small for this main space but I'm gonna tell you, it still does a great job. The temperature of the air coming out of here right now is fluctuating between 48 and 50 degrees, and our unit is set at 77 degrees. My total square footage for the house is just a tad under 1,800 square feet, and I have four head units in the house. Additionally, these walls are only two by four walls, and they have R15 bats inside of them. And then the ceiling above has bibs or blown in bats insulation. And that bibs has compressed over time. And I do need to add more up there. I'm not sure of the R value currently of what it stands at in compression, but it can't be more than about 20, 25, somewhere in there. And then we do sit on an enclosed crawl space. It keeps it fairly cool in the summertime but there is zero insulation in the floor. We do have the old thermostat hooked up and we're currently sitting at 78 degrees. The head units in the two bedrooms on this side of the house are set at 78. And then the head unit in our master bedroom is set at 77. For our energy monitoring, we use the Emporia View. If you haven't seen our video on how to install that and set that up, click on the video at the top of the screen. So right now you can see it's 1159 and our usage is about 650 watts in the master bedroom, 550 in the two bedrooms combined, because that's a single outdoor unit with two interior head units. Our solar room, which has a small 5,000 BTU window unit in it, and that's to keep the solar equipment cool and the freeze dryer cool. The living room is about 450. And you can see everything else down the list is fairly negligible at this point. This morning at about 8.30, I took a screenshot of what was going on and the solar room, the little unit in there, since the inverters are on all the time, it pulls a little bit more to cool that room off. But our living room was about 200 watts, same with the master bedroom and the secondary bedroom hardly registered at all. Then about 50 minutes later, you can see the load on the secondary bedrooms shut up and that's because the sun hit the east side of the house where those bedrooms are located. Then the sun hit the solar panels and the inverters kicked up a little bit. So they started to heat up the room a tad in the solar room and that kicked up this unit a little bit. But you can see the master bedroom and the living room are still lo much lower, 100 watts and 200 watts. Now obviously this is gonna change throughout the day and I'll let you know how this does change. And then I'll show you the total energy usage for the last 24 hour period. Then you can see the temperatures in my area are no joke right now. So I thought it was important that when we talk about the cooling or heating performance of these units, that we talk about their energy performance as well. And that's really important when you're living off grid on a solar system and you still want modern conveniences like this. And if you haven't seen our videos on our three different solar installations here on our homestead, click on the playlist at the top of the screen. And if you're running your house off grid or it's your goal to take your house off grid, it's really important to have an energy monitoring system like this to monitor your loads all the time. This Emporia view that we use has worked really well. And if you're interested in it, there's a link below the video in the video description. All right, let's see how these things do throughout the day and I will give you continual updates. See you in a second. 
Okay, we are back. It's about 5.30 in the afternoon. Should be the hottest part of the day right now, but we actually got some cloud cover. So that's cooled things off a bit. It's 99. I'm going to take the temperature to see if we are pulling any more heat out of the house than we were before. The temperature on that heat exchanger is about 112 degrees. All the units are still super cold and let me show you the temperature on the thermostat in the center of the house. We've kicked up to 80 degrees. I was doing some cooking with the stove too, so that added to the heat in the house a little bit. Even though it's incredibly hot outside and I don't have the greatest insulation here in the house, these mini split units are keeping the house at a nice even temperature. But let's go look at the current energy usage from each unit and see if that's changed and then we'll look at the total for the day so far. All right, you can see it's about 5.30 now and we have the water heater on because we're doing some laundry. The secondary bedroom or the two secondary bedrooms split combined are using about 400 watts each for a total of eight plus. The living room has kicked up to about 750. Our little window unit in the solar room is at 630. And this master bedroom one is much more efficient. The sun is on this side of the house now and we are only still at uh, 550 watts. So we're looking at second by second updates. What I can do here is go to the day which is a 24 hour period and I can click on any one of these individually and it will show me its usage. So the bedrooms on the other side of the house for a 24 hour period starting yesterday at about 5.30 when it, it was also incredibly hot have used a little under seven kilowatts. I can go back here. Let's see how much the living room has used. Six, about six kilowatts. You can see those totals here, but it's nice to see them individually as well to track how they're, uh, they're performing. And the master bedroom here is used five and a half. Interestingly enough, that little window unit uses a lot. So compared to this mini split for the entire master suite, that tiny little 5,000 BTU unit in the solar room was using almost the same amount. This unit in the master suite is 9,000 BTU. So you can see with that comparison that the mini split is way more efficient than a window unit. I've been extremely happy with all of these mini splits that I've installed in the house. We have two Mr. Cools and this one is an Innovare which is sold by Signature Solar. I really love these mini splits. They're way more efficient than my old forced air system, which was a heat pump as well, but it just did not cool the house. And I don't have any data to show you that, but just anecdotally, it would have been probably 84 in the house here if I had that old unit going and it just wasn't feeling cool at all. It was not working well. And it is certainly not even close to being as efficient as these things. I hope that information is helpful for you if you're deciding on getting one of these. Now go click on this video right here, which is our full installation video on how to install a DIY mini split unit. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye.